third row, right hand side. Hey, Steve, Phil Barber, Press Democrat. Uh, Early in the game, when the three-pointers weren't falling, how important especially was the offensive rebounding and just the effort that you guys were putting forward? Yeah, I thought we played really hard. You know, right from the beginning, we forced a lot of turnovers and, uh, you know, got to the loose balls, got got some rebounds. So even though the, the you know, the threes weren't going, we were uh, we were playing well. You know, we were, we were uh, making strides, putting a lot of pressure on them. So it was a good start to the game. Stand up, left-hand side. Steve, Jason Dumas, Cron 4, uh, especially with last year's when you dropped two of three at Oracle, how important was it to take care of business here at home, uh, especially against with a matchup like this? Well, I mean, this is, uh, is always what you want to do. You know, when you've got home court, if you can get the first two, um, it, it puts you in good shape. But, um, you know, with, with the awareness that, um, you know, you're just getting started. You know, nothing has nothing has happened yet, so we got to go down to Houston and be ready to play because we know how good they are. We know how hard they're going to play. Third row, left hand side. Steve Tim Kawakami, the Athletic. Uh, Steph's finger uh, did it, did it look bad there? And did you maybe notice that he was having a little trouble dribbling with his left hand? Do you have any concerns moving forward with that? It looked bad when he came off the floor. I mean, I you know I, I looked at the finger and I was just hoping it was just a dislocation and not a, a break. And fortunately, that's what it turned out to be. Um, so um, as far as, you know, whether it bothered him, um, you know, you can ask him that. Um, I thought he did some great things for us and, and fueled us and, and uh, may not have shot the three that well, but, um, but played, a, played a great game for us. Second row left-hand side here. Hey, Steve, Mark Medina, Bay Area News Group. In light of what was happening in game one about the conversation with the officiating, what do you think? how the guys handled all those things tonight? Um, I, I'll, I didn't even notice the officiating. I don't think anybody did, and I think that's the best compliment you can give them. They did a great job, and this game was just about basketball. Sheffra Rose back, center. Hi, Steve. Janie McCauley from AP. Um, as much emphasis as, as you've put on you know, taking care of the ball, how, how much did you like um, you guys cut the, the turnovers down? Um, a lot? Yeah. Yeah, we did a really good job with that. Um, only 12 for the game, three of them in the last couple of minutes, uh, which was a little disappointing, but we escaped. We've got to do a better job of protecting the ball. You know, both games now we've had a little bit of a problem there. But uh, all in all, to, you know, to finish the game with, uh, you know, 12 turnovers to their 18, um, you know, 18 offensive boards. So we won the possession battle. Got 14 more field goal attempts in them, so that's a that's a big deal. So our guys did a great job. Fifth row, right hand side. Steve Ron Krejcik from the Chronicle. Can you articulate sort of what makes Draymond so good at that that lob pass? It's sort of a it seems like a short alley oop to yeah. Big Dollar or Looney or whomever. He's done it a lot, obviously, throughout the playoffs. Yeah, well, you know, he's uh, he's grown so comfortable playing that that high screen with Steph, and um, you know, w with the, the amount of attention Steph gets. Sometimes Draymond gets that ball in the pocket, and it's four on three. And uh, with the with with the lineup with Andre out there with the sh with two shooters on the wings, it puts a lot of stress on the on the defense. And Draymond has great touch um, on that lob pass, so uh, it's fun to see when they connect like that. Fourth row, left hand side. Steve Joe Fonzi, KTVU. You guys have been had times when you weren't thrown with the defensive intensity to start a game. You forced nine turnovers in the first quarter. You had to be happy with the way. It yeah, came out. defensive intensity right away was great. Uh, you know, I was really pleased with our first quarter. Uh, I thought the Rockets did a great job, kind of hanging in there, especially when James got hurt and, and missed some time. But uh, you know, I think this is how this series is going to go. Um, you know, we're, we can play well, but it's going to be really hard to pull away from, from Houston with the number of threes they take and the number of talented offensive players they have. So, you know, despite that quick start, um, you know, we were fighting them off the whole game. They made 17 threes. So um, it's a hell of a win against a, a great team that, um, that you know, shot the, shot the ball really well from the three-point line. Second row, left-hand side here. Arch Bander, the Maven. Uh, you had mentioned Andre at age 35 playing so well. He seemed to come out really fast this game and give you that burst to sort of take, take control. Yeah, Andre is, uh, he doesn't look 35 to me. You know, he's uh, 
just an incredible athlete. And uh, what makes Andre special is, uh, you know, when you combine that athleticism with that brain, um, now you got a hell of a player. So uh, I, I say it all the time. I'm lucky to coach him. We're lucky to have him. Uh, he, uh, he ties up a lot of loose ends for us. He does uh, so many things for us, and I thought he was uh, brilliant tonight. Steve, you, you go with Jarebko. I know it was early because of Steph's injury, but you definitely had – did you have a plan to get Jarebko in there, and, and how did you think he did when you gave him those minutes? Yeah, I think Jonas is a, um, a good matchup in this series. I think uh, he came right in and, and, and gave us uh, a good lift, you know, a couple buckets and some rebounds. and. Uh, so we were, um, you know, we were we were planning on getting him in there um, at some point, but uh, Steph's early injury allowed us to plug him in pretty early, and uh, and I thought he was he was great. Fourth, fifth row, right hand side. I guess that's me, Shelly Smith from ESPN. Have you ever played after getting poked in the eye? Uh, no. Okay, never mind. Then. All right. <laughs> Side, it's tough to get back. poked in the eye when you're on the bench cheering. Ah. So it was usually just cheering the guys on. And I think one time some of my teammate like kind of elbowed me and kind of hurt. Yeah. Uh, Joe Morgan, Sporting News. Steve, you guys have really taken away the lobs uh, for Capella. How important has that been for you guys just defensively? And have you guys really put an emphasis on that? It's a big deal. Um, you know, he's tough to handle on that, uh, that rim run because of the – uh, the talent in the backcourt with Chris and James, especially throwing that lob to him. I thought uh, Draymond and Kevin in particular uh, both did a great job. Clay made a huge play late by coming over from the weak side. Um, you know, I've said it before the series, you have to, it has to be a five-man game when you play Houston to guard them. you got to have all five guys engaged. So our weak side came over and did a good job tonight. Second row center. Uh, hi, Steve. Carlos Rivera, Salamundo 48 here in Bay Area. Uh, Steph, again, had five fouls, and Kevin did too. Uh, what did you see of their game defensively? They seemed solid, but they were not contesting as much as, or reaching in as you wanted them to. How, how, how do you see them play today? Uh, they, both, they were both great. I mean, the, the foul trouble is what it is. Um, you know, there's some tough ones. Uh, we're playing a very crafty team that knows how to draw fouls. Steph got himself in a couple of awkward positions uh, and, and picked up. Uh, a couple that changed our rotation on the third quarter. So uh, our guys did a good job playing through that, and uh, you know I I'm confident that we can uh, get get Steph to correct that and and um, you know stay on the floor when we need him out there. Third row center. Hi, Steve. Chuck Nevius, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. You jumped into this series very quickly after the Clippers series, and then these two games are pretty quick. Also, this, I was wondering if this would be the game you would be concerned about fatigue. And it, if you're really, because you had a rest after this, so was that a concern? Um, not really. Uh, I was more worried about game one just because of the two injuries um, with Steph and Clay. When we made it through game one in, in good shape, uh, I felt much better about, uh, you know, coming into tonight. And now we've got a few days off, which I think will, will really help our guys. So, um, you know, we're, we're, we're in good shape, but uh, long, long way to go. Two more seconds. Steve, what, what was your view on the double technical with Draymond in there? Well, you know, the problem with the double tech is that it, it's, it's added to, um, you know, the, the total, which can lead to a suspension. And so if two guys, you know, it's a competitive uh, atmosphere out there. It's a playoff game, so guys are going to get tangled up. And, you know, if, if the way to handle it is to call a double technical, um, I think the league needs to. Uh, consider that and um, I just you know every time there's a double you know there's an altercation it's a double technical well if you're playing in the playoffs for a few rounds uh, that those add up so Draymond's now at four I think so um, you know we'll talk to the league and we'll see um, if they'll rescind it and um, I, I'm sure you know the process will will go as usual and we'll see what happens. Sixth row center. 